and I've got some really specific advice for you in this video if you're in year 10, although this applies to a lot of people. Maybe you're not in this year group, but you've still got a comment on how you think that people should approach this year. In year 10, that's the start of your GCSEs proper. Maybe you've started studying some of the subjects in year nine, but really you're not really ready for the full challenge of GCSEs in year nine. It's in year 10 when you need to make it count. If you missed some lessons, if you weren't the most hardworking student in year nine, then you can probably catch that up. Okay, you can catch things up at any point, as long as it's before the actual exam, but it gets harder and harder to catch up as you go through. And if you miss out on stuff in year 10, I promise you're gonna struggle to catch it up before year 11. Think now in year 10, where do you want to be at the end of year 11? Think what you wanna achieve and plan what you need to do to get there. So you've got to get really serious on your GCSEs from year 10. Now this video is all about how you can absolutely smash your GCSEs. Not just get a good grade, but get a fantastic grade. Get whatever your best possible grade that you can get is. Whether that's a grade 5, a grade 7, a grade 9, whatever it is for you. You should be really proud if you get the best grade that you can get. And getting your best grade is not going to be easy. It's not just going to happen. You're going to have to put that commitment in. Work with your teachers, get good relationships in the classroom, enjoy being in the lessons, they're there to help you, they're your best resource. Remember at the start of term there's no time to waste, your teachers are getting up to speed too, your teachers are getting to know you too, so make it easy for them and have a good time in your lessons, enjoy it, they're planning you lessons that they think you want to learn, so engage with them, give it your best, this is year 10, it's important to get to the end of year 10 feeling confident, ready for year 11. In year 10, get into really good habits of revision. Don't worry too much about how often, or how much, or what exactly you are doing, but just make sure that you're in the good habit of doing the revision. Look out for those unit tests, the topic tests, and especially the end of year tests, and make sure that you revise really, really well for those, because that is a really good practice for knowing what it's gonna be like in the real deal the year after. <laughs> So get your resources ready. Now I suggest not just a revision guide. A lot of people just get a revision guide and think that's enough. I would get the textbook for your course, perhaps the same textbook you use in school, but maybe uh, a different one, but a full textbook because they challenge you to get to the higher grades. I've never really felt that revision guides or bite size or a lot of online resources can really take kids through the levels up until like grade eight and grade nine. Yeah, Bite Size and the CGP Revision Guides, they cover everything, but they don't really challenge you to get to the highest levels. I've got some links below for places where you can buy the revision guides and the textbooks for each course. And something you're going to need to do, especially in physics, is making sure that you learn the equations. You need to learn equations for physics, you need to learn equations for maths, you need to learn some things by heart for chemistry as well and you need to make sure that you learn them and learn them now in year 10 so it doesn't become a thing that you're having to do in year 11. In physics really the equations are the heart and soul of the physics, they're the most important part of the physics and for some people in year 10 when you're just getting used to how hard GCSE physics can be it's that new idea of using some things to calculate uh, another thing which is quite a challenge at first and if you learn and you memorize your equations then that becomes less of a challenge and becomes more like a habit and you see it as being just, well that's what physics is, it's using equations to do calculations and then in year 11 we can build on the really complicated stuff like the life cycle of stars or you know subatomic particles and we can really get fascinated and we can understand that much more deeper because we're not struggling to get this basic idea of doing calculations. I've got a resource that you're very, very welcome to. Uh, there's a link in the description for it. You can take it for free from Smashwords as an ebook and put it on your phone, or you can go ahead and buy the paperback. Which, uh, it's just pocket size. It costs three pound fifty, and it's from Amazon. And you support a great YouTube channel in doing so as well. Memorize equations for GCSE physics, and there's loads of videos where I chat about how good it is. <laughs> Try in year ten to get over the first hurdle in each of your subjects. Try and see why each subject. That you're going to study in GCSE is going to require different skills and make sure that you appreciate why each one has its challenges. You're aiming by the end of year 10 to get to a real confident place, not having covered everything yet, but a real confident place with each of those subjects so that you know you can do physics, you can do biology, you can do chemistry, you can do maths, you can do English, you can do all of those different subjects and 
If you can do that, then you're gonna go into year 11 with a lot of confidence feeling good about putting the hard work in to get to those really top levels. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Kit and this is Guru Physics. And well, we really care about you doing well in your exams. We care about you doing well in physics, but we care about you doing them well in all of those exams. So stay tuned for more study tips, tutorials on physics, and just general advice for these exams. You might not be in year 10 now, but maybe leave a comment and say what you wish you'd done differently when you were in year 10.